Well, friends, what you're looking at here is my next project. I tell you, after 20 something years, I have my husband trained. He was on duty last night and he called. He said, I'm in the absolute worst neighborhood you can imagine, but I'm behind this old church and near the dumpster, there's two or three of these 10 foot wooden pews. Would you be interested in one? So I told him to send me a couple pictures because there are some pews that I've seen that I wouldn't be interested in, but when he showed me the end caps of them, I'm gonna insert some pictures here of what he sent me. As you can see, it's pretty gross what he had to dig out. We've got it out of his truck and it's pretty dusty. It's got lots of scrapes and markings, which that just adds to the character. On this end here, there's all kinds of initials and letters carved in there, which it's, it doesn't appear, appear to be too deep, so a light sanding should take care of that. I think I'm just going to try to sand it a little bit and refresh the stain. I love the wood look. My plan is for him to cut and attach this end cap to it, making it just a four foot pew. I'm actually gonna replace my front living room couch with this so the good thing is if we totally mess it up no money lost since this was just a dumpster find but i'm sure looking forward to seeing how this turns out so stay tuned and i'll take you along the transformation process all right i got a five gallon bucket here and i'm going to give it a good wash with some murphy's oil soap and let it dry here in the sun and to refresh my soapy water a couple different times because this was so filthy but I just want to show you what I am using to do my initial cleaning and this is Murphy's Oil Soap it's been around for years one of their memorable commercials was two old ladies actually cleaning church pews I thought of that when I was cleaning you know I couldn't help but just imagine myself as a child fiddling in the church pews i see all these markings and just wonder the stories this pew could tell of the lives changed sitting in these seats i don't know it just brings back lots of precious memories i'm gonna continue wiping it down with some soap and water my husband's off tomorrow and we'll figure out the next step and I thought I'd give you a daily update on what my husband was able to do today and that was cut the pew down to four foot and I saw where he drew a line down the back in the seat and he clamped a level on there and was able to use that as a guide with a jigsaw to help him get it as straight as possible. The verdict is still out if this is going to work or not. So, so I was able to get the end attached to the cut edge and it definitely was not as easy as you think it would be. The 10 foot edge and the cut edge, there was a difference in thickness trying to fit it into that dadoed, into that cut slot. He, it took a lot of strength and a rubber mallet, and he still ended up having to shave off some of the cut edge, but he was able to get it in there pretty tight with the exception of just a little bit of a half an inch overhang here. I suggested him kind of shaving it flush. He's just afraid that would make it look even more noticeable. We're just gonna leave it as is. I want to try to strip it and sand it and stain it. So I'm gonna go to the store today, see what I can find, and I'll be back with an update. All right, friends, it's been a couple weeks since we have worked on the pew and I'm ready to get it finished today and out of my garage. Uh, you know, after he cut and attached that end, this end that he didn't disturb had a big space in the wood right here uh, and that's the reason why we chose the other end to cut down but he filled it with wood glue sanded it and we applied stripper and scraped it used an electric sander and got off as much of the varnish and stain as we could this is what we bought at walmart it's the clean strip paint and varnish stripper it was honestly a waste of ten dollars it's supposed to be no odor and less chemicals didn't really penetrate the varnish at all so we basically just use the electric sander even after i get it sanded it's got some really neat character to it so i think it's going to be fine now here is the stain i picked up at walmart the minwax english chestnut got a soft cloth and some rubber gloves and this is just a small little container of what i normally use it's the minwax polyacrylic it's just a clear coat finish. This is semi-gloss. I typically use satin, but I think it'll be fine.
friends, we are walking into my front living room here, and here is my church pew in all its glory. I gave away my sleeper sofa in here to make room for this, and just love how it turned out. This is a little pillow that I bought a couple weeks ago at Big Lots. It says, Be Happy, and I had this linky throw to put in the corner of it, but it just fits in here perfect. I'm going to keep my baby crib spring hanging above with sconces and some wedding photos. And over here in the corner, this is a table that I found a couple weeks ago on the side of the road between mine and my daughter's house. They had several things, and I called my son. I said, please go get that secretary table. I thought it was so cute and can't imagine somebody not knowing somebody to give that to. But it was my lucky day. I scrubbed it up. I may trade it out with a wood grain table to go in that corner that, that matches a little better. So I have to give a huge shout out to my husband. He's the one that found it. And there's no way I could have done this makeover without him. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the little transformation process. And this is honestly a real trash to treasure. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.